Definition. A circle is the set of all points in a plane that are at a fixed distance from a given point known as the center of the circle. A circle is named by its center point. In figure 6.1, point P is the center of the circle. The symbol for circle is circle with a point in the center. So the circle in figure 6.1 is circle P. Points A, B, C, and D are points of or on the circle. Points P, the center, and R are in the interior of circle P. Points G and H are in the exterior of the circle. In circle Q of figure 6.2, segment SQ is a radius of the circle. A radius is a segment that joins the center of the circle to a point on the circle. Segment SQ, segment TQ, segment VQ, and segment WQ are radii, plural of radius, of circle Q. By definition, length of SQ equals length of TQ equals length VQ equals length WQ. The following statement is a consequence of the definition of a circle. All radii of a circle are congruent. A line segment that joins two points of a circle, such as segment SW in figure 6.2, is a chord of the circle. A diameter of a circle is a chord that contains the center of the circle. In figure 6.2, segment TW is a diameter of circle Q. Definition. Congruent circles are two or more circles that have congruent radii. In figure 6.3, circles P and Q are congruent because their radii have equal lengths. We can slide circle P to the right to coincide with circle Q. Definition. Concentric circles are coplanar circles that have a common center. The concentric circles in figure 6.4 have the common center O. In circle P of figure 6.5, the part of the circle shown from point A to point B is arc AB, symbolized by AB with a curve over the top. If segment AC is a diameter, then arc ABC, three letters are used for clarity, is a semicircle. In figure 6.5, a minor arc, like arc AB, is part of a semicircle. A major arc, such as arc ABCD, also denoted by arc ABD or arc ACD, is more than a semicircle but less than the entire circle. Definition. A central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle and whose sides are radii of the circle. In figure 6.6, .6, angle NOP is a central angle of circle O. The intercepted arc of angle NOP is arc NP. The intercepted arc of an angle is determined by the two points of intersection of the angle with the circle and all points of the arc in the interior of the angle. In figure 6.6, .6, segment MP and segment NQ intersect at O, the center of the circle. Name the following. A, all four radii. Segments OM, OQ, OP, and ON. B, both diameters. Segment MP and segment QN. C, all four chords. Segments MP, QN, QP, and NP. D. One central angle. Angle QOP. Other answers are possible. E. One minor arc. Arc NP. Other answers are possible. F. One semicircle. Arc MQP. Other answers are possible. G. One major arc. Arc MQN or arc MQPN. Other answers are possible. H. Intercepted arc of angle MON. Arc MN lies in the interior of angle MON. I. Central angle that intercepts arc NP. Angle NOP, also called angle 2. The following statement is a consequence of the segment addition postulate. In a circle, the length of a diameter is twice that of a radius. Theorem 6.1.1. A radius that is perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. In figure 6.8, the sum of the measures of the angles about point O 
angles determined by perpendicular diameters segment AC and segment BD is 360 degrees. Similarly, the circle can be separated into 360 equal arcs, each of which measures one degree of arc measure. That is, each arc would be intercepted by a central angle measuring one degree. Our description of arc measure leads to the following postulate. Postulate 16, Central Angle Postulate. In a circle, the degree measure of a central angle is equal to the degree measure of its intercepted arc. If the measure of arc AB equals 90 degrees in figure 6.8, then the measure of angle AOB equals 90 degrees. The reflex angle that intercepts arc BCA, and that is composed of three right angles, measures 270 degrees. In figure 6.8, the measure of arc AB equals 90 degrees, measure of arc BCD equals 180 degrees, and the measure of arc AD equals 90 degrees. It follows that the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BCD plus the measure of arc AD equals 360 degrees. Consequently, we have the following generalization. The sum of the measures of the consecutive arcs that form a circle is 360 degrees. In circle Y, figure 6.9a, if the measure of angle XYZ equals 76 degrees, then the measure of arc XZ equals 76 degrees by the central angle postulate. If two arcs have equal degree measures, figure 6.9b and C, both are parts of two circles with unequal radii, then these arcs will not be congruent with respect to length. The last observation leads to the following definition. Definition. In a circle or congruent circles, congruent arcs are arcs with equal measures. To clarify the definition of congruent arcs, consider the concentric circles having the same center in figure 6.10. Here, the degree measure of angle AOB of the smaller circle is the same as the degree measure of angle COD of the larger circle. Even though the measure of arc AB is equal to the measure of arc CD, arc AB is not congruent to arc CD because the arcs would not coincide. In circle O of figure 6.11, ray OE bisects angle AOD. Find A. The measure of arc AB, 105 degrees. B. Measure of arc BD, 105 degrees from 70 degrees plus 35 degrees. C, measure of angle AOD, 150 degrees, from 360 degrees minus the sum of 105 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 35 degrees. D, measure of arc AE, 75 degrees, half of 150 degrees since ray OE bisects angle AOD. Measure of arc ACE, 285 degrees, from 360 degrees minus 75 degrees, the measure of arc AE. F, whether arc AE is congruent to arc ED. Yes, the arcs are congruent because both measure 75 degrees and both are found in the same circle. G, measure of the reflex angle that intercepts arc ABCD, 210 degrees from 105 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 35 degrees. In figure 6.11, note that the measure of arc BC plus the measure of arc CD equals the measure of arc BD or measure of arc BCD. Because the union of arc BD and arc DA is the major arc BDA, we also see that the measure of arc BD plus the measure of arc DA equals the measure of arc BDA. With the understanding that arc AB and arc BC do not overlap, we generalize the relationship as follows. Postulate 17, arc addition postulate. If arc AB and arc BC intersect only at point B, then measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BC equals the measure of arc ABC. The drawing in figure 6.12a further supports the claim in postulate 17. Given points A, B, and C on circle O as shown in figure 6.12a, suppose that radii segment OA, segment OB, and segment OC are drawn. 
because the measure of angle AOB plus the measure of angle BOC equals the measure of angle AOC by the angle addition postulate, it follows that the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BC equals the measure of arc ABC. In the statement of the arc addition postulate, the reason for writing arc ABC rather than arc AC is that the arc with endpoints at A and C could be a major arc. It is easy to show that the measure of arc ABC minus the measure of arc BC equals the measure of arc AB. The arc addition postulate can easily be extended to include more than two arcs. In figure 6.12b, measure of arc RS plus the measure of arc ST plus the measure of arc TQ equals the measure of arc RSTQ. If the measure of arc RS equals the measure of arc ST in figure 6.12b, then point S is the midpoint of arc RT. Alternately, arc RT is bisected at point S. As we have seen, the measure of an arc can be used to measure the corresponding central angle. The measure of an arc can also be used to measure other types of angles related to the circle, including the inscribed angle. Definition. An inscribed angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is a point on the circle and whose sides are chords of the circle. Theorem 6.1.2. The measure of an inscribed angle of a circle is one-half the measure of its intercepted arc. Theorem 6.1.3 In a circle, or in congruent circles, congruent minor arcs have congruent central angles. Theorem 6.1.4 In a circle, or in congruent circles, congruent central angles have congruent arcs. Theorem 6.1.5 In a circle, or in congruent circles, Congruent chords have congruent minor or major arcs. Theorem 6.1.6 .6. In a circle or in congruent circles, congruent arcs have congruent chords. Theorem 6.1.7 .7. Chords that are at the same distance from the center of a circle are congruent. Theorem 6.1.8 .8. Congruent chords are located at the same distance from the center of a circle. Theorem 6.1.9 an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. Theorem 6.1.10 If two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then these angles are congruent.